Rockstar, you're gonna have to hold your ass cheeks, buddy, because Take-Two is going to rail you from behind to get as much money as possible out of GTA Online. As a couple days ago, if you somehow didn't hear, it was announced that GTA Plus would be a thing. No, not a battle pass, but a subscription-based service. And to this, I have to say, do not buy it. No, don't buy it. It is a complete waste of money and also actually proves something that we've been shouting for for years, being the fact that shark cards are a total ripoff. Because a $500,000 shark card is £5.99p. So that means this service should be priced completely differently based off this scene as you do get $500,000 every single month, plus all of this crap and it's $5.99. Yeah, good price in there, Rockstar. Or is Rockstar to blame? You see, the thing is, people believe that Take-Two, Rockstar's parent company, are the people behind ruining Rockstar games. Because all Take-Two want, like I've said at the beginning, was money, money, money. With the examples obviously being all the high-profile people that have been at Rockstar for years, in just the past couple of years, leaving Rockstar outright. And also all the lawsuits against Take-Two as these people left. Take two are trying to get as much money as possible out of GTA Online to make their investors mucho gracias as happy as possible. But that means that the players, us, just get checked out the window. They don't care. I am finding it really hard, like a lot of other people, to continue to not only play this game, but to also make content for this game. With there only being two DLCs, and even when I was just doing GTA content, those DLCs lasted two three weeks and then that was it that was basically it all done then it was just a car every week or something like that and with the weekly updates on that they're so bad and pointless now i stopped doing them and i can only see that going into the future the weekly updates just getting worse so people are more inclined to get this gta plus like whatever the fuck this subscription service is but like i've said in the past I don't want to just abandon GT Online completely outright with me rebranding and soon starting Variety Gaming because finally all the problems with my PC are fixed and I can actually play a game now without it crashing every 10 minutes. <sighs> I'm quite happy. But GTA brought me to where I am now and I would feel kind of wrong if I just outright sacked it off and just started doing constant Variety Games which is what I want to do but I do still have some joy playing the GT Online challenges that I have, especially some of the ones that I have coming up. Because to be quite frank with you, I don't play GT Online in my off time. If I'm on GTA, I'm either planning a video or recording a video. But with the direction the game is going, I could very, very easily see myself not do monthly videos of me just messing about in this game, not doing challenge videos in this game anymore by the end of the year. So let me know, what have you guys done? Have you already quit this game or are you still sticking to your guns and are you continuing to play it? Let me know in the comment section down below. But after you've done that, then please do go check out another video. And if you do that, I hope you all have a fan fucking fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.